As you probably know, Unreal Engine has already changed filmmaking forever through virtual production. It's been used on a ton of high-end productions including The Batman, The Mandalorian, and the new Fallout series. But today, I want to talk about a different, maybe less glamorous, but potentially more impactful way Unreal Engine is changing filmmaking for people like you and me, not just Hollywood blockbuster productions. Now before I get into how this impacts you, I want to talk about how it has already impacted Hollywood. Most recently, Unreal Engine was used on one of the biggest and, in many people's opinions, one of the best movies of all time, Dune 2. Dune's director of photography, Greg Frazier, is one of the pioneers of virtual production and a huge contributor to the development of the technology with his significant contribution to its use in The Mandalorian, as well as his continued use of the technique on films such as The Batman. But in Dune, he used it for something a little bit different, pre-visualization. Now, you may have heard of pre-visualization or pre before, and you're probably thinking of the rudimentary animations you've seen from older movies in the early 2000s or 2010s when computer graphics were first coming around. But what I'm talking about is the incredible potential of Unreal Engine to create photorealistic pre-visualizations, as well as the ability to plan out lighting, composition, and staging using physically accurate light values and camera settings, which translate directly to on-set shooting. For Dune 2, Frazier used Unreal Engine's time of day system to display the exact positioning of the sun in the sky based on the shooting location's coordinates and orientation on the globe. Frazier used the system to perform virtual location scouts, plan and schedule lighting and staging based on the sun's position throughout their planned shooting days, and determine the best composition for each shot. This is invaluable as a filmmaker for on-location shooting because the sun will always be your brightest, most impactful and least controlled light source, meaning you have to learn to use it to your advantage and take its position into account when you're planning your lighting. So it's really cool to see this tool being used at the highest level of production, but how does this apply to you and how can you use these tools for your own films and projects? Well, as you may have realized at this point, these tools are somewhat useless without a 3D model or representation of the environment in which you'll be shooting. For Dune, the environments were modeled by artists, and you most likely don't have the time or frankly the desire to do that. So how can we streamline this process and get accurate models of real locations? The answer is by 3D scanning them. But how, you may ask? Well, there are a ton of methods for 3D scanning a scene, including photogrammetry, Gaussian splatting, and LiDAR scanning, all of which have pros and cons. However, what's great about these methods is that they can all be performed using only the phone in your pocket, and they're all capable of capturing incredible levels of detail and realism. The process of 3D scanning is generally pretty universal between the different methods. The concept is to capture photos or a video of your scene or object from all different angles. An algorithm analyzes the photo or video input as well as the overlap between the individual frames of that input to generate a highly detailed point cloud or a representation of the position of particular points of an object in 3D space. From this point, the different scanning methods diverge. Photogrammetry utilizes the point cloud to construct a highly detailed, fully textured 3D mesh, which can be used in traditional 3D graphics. This is very useful. However, photogrammetry often requires hundreds or even thousands of images to construct a 3D model, and it's usually only viable for use on a single object. Gaussian splats, however, utilize the point cloud to construct a field of 3D Gaussians, which display lightness and color values based upon the original source video according to the camera's position in 3D space. Since no 3D model is actually constructed, there's no need to apply lighting or texturing, and therefore the result is an extremely lightweight, fast rendering reconstruction of the scene you scanned. However, you're limited in your ability to relight these scans and your ability to manipulate them. Meanwhile, LiDAR scanning actually uses pulsed lasers shot out into the environment to determine the size and scale of objects and capture your scene in the form of a 3D model. LiDAR is extremely accurate in terms of scale and measurements, so it allows you to capture your environment to scale with a high degree of precision. While LiDAR scanning does require hardware to accomplish, many people already have this hardware in their pocket in the form of an iPhone or an iPad Pro, which comes equipped with a LiDAR scanner built in. This method is great for capturing larger environments, though the result is not typically as detailed as photogrammetry. 
So once your scan is captured using one of the aforementioned capture methods, you can pull it into Unreal Engine and virtually scout your scene, light it using physically accurate real-world light values, and virtually shoot your scene using Unreal's physically accurate camera and lens system. The ability to move massive light sources, swap between different lighting looks with a click of a button, and try infinite lighting and camera setups from the comfort of your home is second to none when it comes to giving you creative freedom as a filmmaker. You can even use light pro profiles for real light fixtures such as aperture and airy lights, which allows you to see exactly, to a T, what your lighting is going to look like on set without ever leaving your home. You can also easily create lighting plans from your setups in Unreal Engine with accurate measurements so that your team can have a detailed plan of exactly how your scene should be set up, where lights need to be placed, and the intensity of those lights. Using this technique to plan my last shoot, it cut my setup time and time on set literally in half because all the experimentation and planning had been done before even showing up on the location. It saved me a ton of money in manpower as well as gear and location rental because I was able to rent only the gear that was necessary for the shoot and also I only had my crew on set for half the time. But not only is this an incredible tool for filmmakers to plan shoots, it's also an amazing way to learn filmmaking and cinematography without having to buy or rent a single piece of gear, an expensive camera, or spend years working on set trying to acquire these skills. Mastery of a skill comes from experience and practice, and learning and practicing these concepts with so much creative freedom in the digital world can allow you to grow your skills exponentially, even if you're an experienced filmmaker, director of photography, or photographer. If you want to learn more about this process and see step-by-step -step how to do it, I've put together an extensive course on how to use all of these incredible tools, including an in-depth guide to all the latest 3D scanning options, how to work with them inside of Unreal Engine, and how to use them to virtually scout your location, create incredible pre scenes, and plan your real film shoots so you can see exactly what you'll be getting when you show up on set. The course is tailored for complete beginners, so you don't need any experience in Unreal Engine, 3D scanning, or even filmmaking to take it. So I'm very excited to share this new workflow with you all. It's changed the way that I plan film shoots, and I think it has the potential to change a lot of people's careers and hopefully jumpstart some amazing creativity in the film community. So don't forget to check out the Next Gen Filmmaker course to learn exactly how to do this process in no time so you can take your skills to the next level. Also, if you want to learn more about Unreal Engine, I highly recommend checking out the Unreal Engine for Filmmakers course on the website as well. It covers how to create stunning films and visual effects all inside of Unreal Engine. As always, if you found this video helpful, it makes a huge difference if you leave a like or a comment, and I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel for more content like this. We have a ton of new stuff coming that I can't wait to share with you all, so thanks for watching and have a good one guys.